Hi, John with Orange Blade Consultants. Today we're going to look at the ability to print from Bluebeam PDF Review. So we often talk about going paperless and uh, incorporating paperless processes, eliminating paper, but sometimes we need plans on paper so that we can uh, be in the field with the paper or be in a meeting with the paper. Um, so how do we get the plans onto paper, preferably to scale? Um, what can we do? So if we go to uh, the settings tab right here and go down to document properties, a few observations. One is uh, this is 36 by 24, meaning it was intended to be printed on 36 by 24 inch sheets of paper. If we have a large format plotter, uh, if we have the capability of printing to that size, we can print to scale fairly easily. Okay. My issue is I don't have a uh, large format pro plotter available. So we'll see what options we have to get uh, these plans onto paper, preferably to scale. I also see that it's a 49 page plan set. I also saw down here that I'm looking at page 2 of 49. So page 2 is what we see back here. Let me close that and let's look at the print window. So if I click the print button, lots of decisions to make, but fortunately we have this preview window and this preview window is our guide it doesn't lie it's uh, whatever we see there is what we get on paper so until we're satisfied with what the preview looks like we're not gonna click uh, click print okay so there's my small laser printer eight and a half by eleven remember this this particular sheet is supposed to be 36 by 24 so it may be a challenge getting this to print to scale but we'll show you what you can do so if you go to the form settings I see that it's uh, gonna print letter uh, size or eight and a half by eleven. It's portrait, meaning this is a portrait shot uh, of of our plan. If I click landscape, watch what happens. It's now landscape, and I'll tell you, I like that better. In fact, I know that this plan set is uh, oriented in landscape orientation. So, okay, I've made a few decisions already, but I'm going to continue. What am I printing? Current, as in only page two, or do I want to print all 49 pages? Or do I want to print pages 1, 2, 12, 18, 40, and 48? You know, something that isn't consecutive pages. I can do that as well by clicking uh, Custom Range and selecting the pages that I want. Okay. So what prints? You know, is it the entire sheet? This certainly doesn't look like the entire sheet. I don't see a title block. I don't see much at all. Um, here's where we can make some decisions. Um, current view watch what happens when I click current view that or this is what we see Oops. what we see back here so that's our current view in other words if it's on your screen that's what we want to be on paper we can be more explicit by saying get window and say just this area perfect um, that's really what I'm after so okay I'm satisfied with that I'm only interested in that area that's what I want on paper that's what I'm gonna bring to the field okay let's move our way down what are we printing the documents and the markup in other words our red markups and the document content in black just the document which removes the markups and just the markups which removes the content I want both so I'll go back to document and markup I'm only wanting, um, I'm only asking to print one copy. I'm not rotating anything. And watch what happens when I say custom scale equals 100%. If you use custom scale and a, a custom scale percentage of 100%, it's going to print to scale. Meaning, if this was a quarter of an inch equals a foot, what we're looking at right now, which will print on eight and a half by eleven, is is eight and a half or is a quarter of an inch equals a foot okay. if that works for you great but I'll tell you I have a lot of wasted paper here so if I bump that up to 200 percent that's much better and what does 200 percent really do to us well it takes this quarter of an inch equals a foot uh, plan and makes it one half of an inch equals a foot and that really works for me um, so I'm gonna leave it that way and then I want to move our way down here. I'm not worried about centering anything. It looks fine right now. Remember this, what you see is what you get window is what we're going to have on our paper. But if I click dim page content, watch what happens to the preview. All the black line work tur turns gray and it really highlights and allows our markups to stand out just that much more. 
And I like that, so I'm going to leave it that way. So, um, you know, I'm satisfied with everything right now. So if I click print, it's going to print what we see in that what you see is what you get window. It's going to print at half of an inch equals a scale, and I'm satisfied. Okay. So I wanted to throw a few more options at you, although that's what we're after. I wanted to show you that you could do something like this. Uh, fit to paper. Okay. Show, it shows everything here. Or or or. It, it uses all of our paper, including the margins, which will get cut off. So I don't like that. So why don't we say uh, reduce to margins? So watch what happens to the preview right in here where we have line work in the margins. Let's say fit to margins, and there we go. So that works as well. But uh, I will tell you when we say fit to margins, when we say fit to paper, uh, those options really blow any scaling out of the water. Uh, we lose that. But sometimes we're not concerned with scale. We're more concerned with get as much geometry on this paper as we can. So let me go back to the way I had it, which was custom scale, 200%, press print, go get my print, go to the field, go to my meeting, and I'm set. Thanks for watching.